This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e-learning to instructor-led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. One of the most common things you'll do inside of your Excel spreadsheet is to type in information. So let's take a look at some of the techniques you need to be able to be effective in your data entry. So here I have just an empty Excel spreadsheet. Well, excuse me, the Excel spreadsheet's not empty, but the data portion of it is en empty. And we're looking for numbers. Someone has already created this spreadsheet, and now we just need to type in the sales figures. So pretend that the numbers I'm typing in are accurate, and pretend they're in the thousands of dollars, because I don't, I don't want to take a lot of time to type. But what I do want to talk about is the direction and the way to type in data. So as I work across, I'm pretending that I have all of these numbers for the entire year, and so I'm going to type a number and hit tab. And notice how it moves me to the right. So I type a number and I hit tab. Another number, tab, one more number. Now this time, I'm going to hit my enter key. Watch what happens when I hit the enter key. It takes me right back to the first quarter, because here's what Excel knows. Excel knows that I have a pattern. Whoopsie, I was not hitting tab there. Let me back up there. Okay. Excel knows that I have a pattern. So as I'm typing in the entries, what happens is as soon as I get to the end and I want to go to the end of my typing on the columns and I want to go back to the next row, the enter key does that for me. So one way to enter data is to simply use your tab to move from left to right and then enter to go back. But here's what happens if you make a mistake. So if I'm tabbing along and then I go, oh, didn't mean that, and then I click here to change it, and watch what happens then when I hit my Enter key. It takes me back to that location. So let's talk about how to fix that. If I'm moving forward, right, I'm moving forward and I realize, oh, I made a mistake, Shift does the opposite. So if I hold Shift and Tab, it will move me backwards. So now when I finish my row and I hit Enter, it identifies to go back to the beginning again. So let's just review. Tab moves you from the left to the right, and Shift tab moves you from right to left. Now if you want to go down, Enter moves you down. Whoops, Shift Enter moves you up, right? So Enter, oops, same mistake. Shift Enter goes up. So if you simply want to type and go down, you type your Enter key, and if you want to move back up, because oops, made a mistake, Shift Enter takes you back up. So let me finish this column out. Oops, I really didn't mean to do that one. I meant to do the earlier ones. There we go. Enter and one last entry. Okay, so now what if I just want to type top to bottom and this is all I have left. So pretending this is really all I have left and remember I'm just making these numbers up as I go but in the real world I'd be copying these off of a sheet of paper or from another location. Watch what happens. I'm just going to hit my enter key here. I'm not actually going to type because you can see what happens with the active cell. The active cell is the clear cell. So what happens is I stay inside of that selection. So if you're a person who likes to use the enter key, but you want it to automatically go to the top of the next column, all you have to do is select the cells that you want to type in and then let your enter key do its trick. And when it gets to the bottom, see I'm in the bottom of that first column that I have highlighted. Now I'm at the top of the next column. And it'll do the same thing when I get to the bottom of the second column. I'll be at the top of a third column and I'm able to type in my data. So as you're typing in, you can choose whether you want to use your tab key or your enter key or shift tab or shift enter. The one thing I don't recommend, I don't recommend getting in the habit of using your arrow keys when you're entering information. And the reason is it can be a disaster for you once you start to do math. So get in the habit of using your enter and your tab keys for moving forward when you're typing in data. Now one last technique, and I just want to move over to the right here into some empty cells to talk about this particular technique. And all I'm going to do is type the word hi. When I type the word hi though, I had my cap locks on there to have a capital H and a capital I. I want to stay right there in that cell because maybe my next thing is I want to format that cell. Well, you know that if I hit enter, I'll go down. If I hit tab, I'll go to the right, but I want to stay right there. So the trick is control enter. 
All I did was hold down my control key when I hit enter, and then what happened is that cell remained active, yet the data was entered. And the way I can tell is the cursor stopped flashing. Let's do one more. I'll just click on a cell. I'll type hello, again in all caps. And now watch, the cursor is flashing at the end of the O, and I'm going to count to three. When I count to three, I'm going to hit control, enter. One, two, three. You see how the cursor stopped flashing, the border became a little darker, so that content was entered, and now it's ready for me to do whatever it is I have to do next. So folks, as you're entering data, use whatever technique is useful for you at the time, but remember, stay away from those arrows. They're great for moving around on your spreadsheet, but they're not great for data entry. So use your Enter, use your Tab key, and don't forget, Control-Enter enters the data and leaves that cell the active cell.